NASA's unexpected turn of events, the James Webb Space Telescope created a discovery involving astronomers the whole world over and on. A few weeks ago, the telescope identified the earliest galaxy in all of space. However, it has now discovered something even larger, a massive hole that is moving away from its galaxy at 4 miles per hour, an incredible speed in kilometers per hour. This recent discovery has significant implications and has resulted in great speculation among scientists and space enthusiasts about its significance for comprehension of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on a quest to investigate the first stars and galaxies in the universe and has captured the death of stars and galaxies in stunning images from a few hundred million years after the initial explosion. We invite you to explore the most recent findings from this telescope with us. Keep up the good work by liking and subscribing to content similar to this one. The newest discovery is challenging the science community's current understanding of dark matter. Black holes are generally thought of as huge entities that pull everything, even light, toward them. However, the newly discovered black hole seems to be experiencing the opposite effect. Rather than absorbing light, it is creating new young stars along a long trail. This new trail of newborn stars has been observed following the black hole, which exerts extreme stress 200,000 light years away. Scientists are astonished by this unusual behavior in comparison to other black holes. But a team led by a professor of geoastronomy, Binda, recently reported their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. The Hubble Space Telescope of NASA additionally supported these observations, implying that the black hole comes to life when it comes into contact with new stars with gas and cools it. We are seeing the wake behind the black hole. But that's not all. NASA has created a thrilling announcement about the merger of the galaxies ARP-220, which the James Webb Space Telescope took control of for observation. This is remarkable. The galaxy merger is visibly shining among the night sky's other galaxies. When the spiral galaxies merge, the phenomenon that shines as ARP-220 is the highest in infrared light, making it perfect for observation by the James Webb Space Telescope. It is categorized as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy with a luminosity equivalent to a trillion suns. In comparison to our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which has a much lower luminosity of roughly 10 billion suns, ARP-220 is located in the constellation of Serpents, about 250 million light-years away. It is regarded as the brightest of the three collisions with other galaxies closest to Earth, and it is listed as the 220th object in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. About 700 million years ago, the spiral galaxies collided and triggered a huge explosion of star formation. This welcomed a dense area of approximately 5,000 light years across with approximately 200 clusters of massive stars. Surprisingly, this area contains as much gas as the entire Milky Way in a small area. Previous observations with the discovery of a radio telescope revealed about 500 supernova remnants in 100 miles across. After that, the ARP-220 area demonstrated that the ancestor galaxies are separated by 1,200 light years, and each core contains a rotating ring of star formation that produces dazzling infrared light. Recent perspectives revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope show an impressive galactic merger of the two galaxies. Additionally, there are faint tidal tails extending from the outer edges of the merger, pointing to the force of gravity between the two galaxies. Finally, the red, chevron, and orange filaments and streams represent scattered organic materials in ARP-220. Another stunning discovery stumped scientists when researchers found galaxies at the beginning of the universe. They were skeptical about their reliability. Some believed they might be nearby galaxies in disguise. So, they shared the data with other researchers all over the world, hoping for the best. Amazingly, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these are real ancient galaxies. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we now have access to examine the earliest galaxies ever observed. 
Astronomers estimate that light from these galaxies has traveled more than 13.5 billion years to reach Earth, allowing us a glimpse of the origin of the universe. These galaxies were discovered when the universe was young, which sheds light on how quickly the first galaxies in existence emerged. The spectral data confirmed that these galaxies are at the edge of our perspective, some even further away than Hubble could see. The finding is crucial because it validates one of the most important tasks of the James Webb Space Telescope, which will examine the earliest universe by means of light that has traveled over 13.5 billion years. The ability to measure extreme redshifts is what sets James Webb apart providing astronomers with access to the infrared range to observe the first galaxies. In the universe, galaxies are being examined. The air is palpable with excitement as this discovery marks an important milestone in the exploration of the universe and in comprehending its development. Our lives have been profoundly altered by this discovery. Our understanding of the universe has prompted NASA to expand its development of strong telescopes, such as those used in the James Webb Space Telescope, to confirm whether our comprehension of the Big Bang is correct. Information gathered by the telescope's spectrometer and near-infrared camera has revealed that four of the six galaxies observed in the early universe have pronounced redshifts indicating we are observing them as they were between 300 million and 5 billion years after the Big Bang without heavy elements like carbon. This is surprising since the universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old. The existence of these galaxies and their billion-year age suggests we must revise our understanding of the early universe. Concern has been raised in the scientific community as these new discoveries challenge the current Big Bang and cosmological inflation model. The Big Bang theory, which has some loopholes, such as going against the laws of thermodynamics and a lack of a clear explanation of what caused the Big Bang, is now under scrutiny. Furthermore, the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering galaxies almost as ancient as the Big Bang itself, questioning everything we believed we knew about the origin of the universe. A theoretical physicist claims the discovery of ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope has questioned everything we thought we knew about the beginning of the universe. Previously, these galaxies were thought to be less developed than the Milky Way, but the new findings indicate we may be missing important information. Considering that, the telescope has discovered six galaxies in existence 500 million years after the Big Bang, which are up to 10 times larger than the Milky Way. This raises the possibility that our current theories regarding the universe's origins may not be accurate. Kaku stated, it requires billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way. So, it is strange to find such large, young, primordial galaxies. This discovery may necessitate revising and rewriting the textbooks on the beginning of all things. Findings from the James Webb Space Telescope challenge what we thought we knew about the Big Bang, leaving scientists at a crossroads. NASA recently tweeted about a cluster of galaxies that formed just 650 million years after the Big Bang, adding yet another fascinating component to the puzzle. Astronomers have analyzed the data and concluded that this cluster is expected to grow in size and become something similar to the colossal coma cluster of Bell 1656. This event is one of a kind because it is located in an area where galactic evolution can be observed thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. Researchers can now quantify the velocities of these seven galaxies, which gives them the confidence to confirm that they are bound together in an early cluster. To summarize, NASA scientists compared these far-off galaxies to tiny spakes of water in various rivers that will eventually unite to form a substantial, powerful river. Clearly, what we previously believed about the Big Bang is not meeting expectations. However, more revealing data from the telescope could provide evidence that either supports or refutes the concept. Who knows? Maybe the Big Bang did occur, but the cause is a different story. Regardless, we must wait for additional discoveries, but the answer may be closer than we think.
What do you think about these discoveries? Share your thoughts in the comments section and I hope to see you in the next video. I'm so grateful for your watching.